In this video, we're going to have a look at the Pocket Pro, which is an all-in-one multimeter oscilloscope and logger. Um, it's from a company in Australia, um, Pocket Innovation, and they specialize in ultra-compact electronic measuring tools. Um, I think they've got three devices available. So they've got the Pocket Pro, um, they've got another one called the Pocket Meter, which is an even smaller multimeter oscilloscope as well, and they've got a Pocket Clamp. So if you're interested in any of those sort of devices, um, definitely have a look at their website and see what they have to offer. Um, so I'll just have a quick look at it. Um, we'll open it up and see what's inside. So this is just the box. So you get the Pocket Pro, you get some um, detachable wire clips, um, the Pro tip cover, a, a carry case, um, a charging cable and, and the manual. Zoom in. So yeah, this device is essentially a multimeter oscilloscope and a logger. Um, you have to use it with a, 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 a tablet or a phone um, to utilize it. So it uses a, an app and you use that as a screen because it doesn't have a screen on the actual um, device. So you got the Pocket Pro here, you got the carry case and you got the manual. So get rid of these. Those. So I'll zoom in. So this is look at the actual device. It's got a quite a uh, rough texture. Well, not rough, but it's got you know a bit of grip there, so it's not super smooth, which is nice. So you've got your power button and that's the voltage and you've got I think this, if you switch it across you've got your resistance your low current so your low current has to be below 300 milliamps um, you got temp capacitance and diode and continuity so if you want a high current you have to switch to that one which is um, up to 10 10 amps max and on the back you've got the negative probe which you can just pull out so it's got a little bit of a, a recess there you can use your fingers fingernail to pull it out so that helps and you just have to unwind the cable um, and you use it sort of like like that so it's got a decent length um, cable without being overly too long which is nice in the case, you've got the case is you've got your charging cable, um, you've got your little detachable wire clips. So these just go into the end of the probes, and then you can just use it to clamp on wires, which is quite useful. Uh, you got two of those. And you've also got these here, which are probe shrouds. So I think you just put onto the, the probes, just so it's just only got a small um, tip showing. So you're less likely to, I guess, short on anything if you're working on something that needs it. Um, what I noticed though with the the K case is if you have the all the stuff in the case, let's put this away. So you just wrap the wire around and put it in place. So if we have this in the case, It's, it doesn't really shut properly. It's not um, organized well enough or there's not enough room in the case. Um, so to get around this, I've, what I'll do is I'll take get rid of the charging cable because I don't need it. Um, if I need to charge the device, I've got lots of USB-C charging cables around. Um, another issue is it's hitting onto these um, detachable wire clips. So what I've done to sort of resolve this issue is 
I've got some of my wife's um, fabric glue and I've just glued the center of this um, elastic to the, the case. Um, so what I can do now is I can get the detachable wire clips and I can just slide it in. I can slide in both sides. So it'll look like that. And then it actually closes perfectly. So with it like that, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, so I think that's how I'm gonna utilize this case. Um, just have it in that orientation or in that setup. So yeah, if you wanna do the same, um, you can just use some fabric glue and just glue it in place there. Um, so I've also got some fuses. So I think they, it's probably, probably recommended to get some um, fuses, especially um, just in case you blow them. Um, and so you've got, you don't have a device that doesn't work. Um, and at the end of the video, I'll show you how to replace the fuses as well. Oh, sorry. And with the fuses, it comes with three fuses. Um, you've got a 10 amp and then you've got two half amp fuses. So that's just what comes in the kit. Oh, not in the kit, sorry. There's a separate additional item. So have a look into that if you're thinking about getting one of these. So I might just have a run through the actual device as well. Just a quick look at it. Another thing I noticed is the, the actual, um, this cap, it's quite, it's not held on quite like strongly. So it's just, just sort of sitting in place. So just be careful with that if you're using it. Um, if you had that in your pocket or something, you pulled it out, you could easily lose that. So just keep that in mind, just keep it into the, keep it in the case. Let's get a phone. So you've got the pocket up and you can enter into it. And then you've got the measurement, I mean, the different um, menu items. So you've got your multimeter. And then on the um, actual device, you've got your voltage. So if I go into mode, you'll see that it's only on the voltage. If I go into this one, it will show what other modes are available. So at the moment you can see it's, you can do current, um, but yeah, so the current is at 300 milli, uh, milliamp max. So if you want um, a high current, you just switch it to that one. And so it will change it to the 10 amp. There, so you've got a temperature as well, if you wanted to do temperature. Um, what else have you got? So you get resistance, current, um, DC, AC, and so this is the low current, capacitance, diode, and continuity. So, do some quick tests just to show. So, it's got a little battery here. Um, if I wanted to measure the, the voltage, you've got to change it to the voltage. So 2.87 volts um, with the button on here as well. So if you get that and then you can, oops, you can press the button and it'll save um, that reading to your history. So you can have a look at it later. And to use the, so these are quite useful as well. So these are the wire wire clips and if I wanted to measure you know um, voltage or whatever it is that you, you know you can easily hook it up to these wire clips instead of using probes to hold it and then I want to change it to different mode so I'll go into 
resistance. And you got 4.75 ohms for that resistor. Um, so if we go back into menu, so you got the oscilloscope. Um, I don't really use the oscilloscope, but I've, you know, I might use it a little bit later for my car and I'm looking at doing like my ignition um, coil setup for it. So I want to see if they're giving it like the correct um, signals and if it's a square wave or whatever it is. Uh, you've got a logger function, which I think just tracks, um, you know, whatever you want it to log um, over a period of time. They've also got... Um, a range tester but that's just keep in mind this, these three here and an additional I guess like expansion for the app so you have I think there might be a paid um, sort of thing so to have a range tester um, that would be a, an additional cost um, so that's available now I think um, the power meter and the waveform generator they're still um, in the works I think and they're coming I think hopefully soon um, if you want to look into those um, yeah that's a quick look at it um, so yeah I've really enjoyed using this device let's get rid of the phone um, especially if like if I want to measure something um, say on the car or an ink um, I can have this connected to where it needs to be and I can have the, the phone or tablet in the car with me if I need to start the car or do any testing in the car. Um, it's just nice having a, a, a good display and also doing the data logging and all that sort of stuff as well. So it's definitely a great tool to have. Um, so if you after something like this, definitely check out um, Pocket Innovation and see you know what else they have to offer that might be you know might interest you as well. So the quality feels quite good. Um, the, the last thing I'll do is just to show you how to change the um, the fuse. So when I was looking at the fuse um, and how to change it, I found it quite difficult. Um, so I'll zoom in. So at the back of this thing here, you've got a little flap, it's just a little rubber flap, and you've got two flathead um, screws. They're very small. So you just need a, a screwdriver that's small enough and just want to unscrew those. And just don't lose the screws. So once you've got the screws off, the panel will just come out and including the rubber. So the rubber's just sort of held in on the back. So it's just sitting on top sort of thing and it gets squished in to there to hold it in place. So then you've got your fuses here. Um, the one that you're most likely to probably blow is your half amp fuse, which is this one here. And you've got your 10 amp fuse over here on this side. But yeah, I really found it difficult to take these out. So I think in the manual it says to get a flathead screwdriver and just go in there and pry it up, up to get it out. Um, I, th I did sort of try to do it that way, um, but I found that if I did it, it might damage the actual device. So what I've done is, uh, my method is if I use a, a little flathead, push it as far as you can to the top. And then all I did was I got a, just a little cable tie and just curve the end up a bit. So then you can sort of push it under the fuse. So there should be little gaps on the side and then so hopefully you can push it through under the fuse and pull it up and then just get some pliers to hold the cable tie 
and push I'd push the cable tie up to the top as far as you can and then it's just a matter of if I can do it getting it and then just pulling it out so then you should be able to just take out the fuse so you just got to push it up again and then you've got it so then you can just replace the fuse so this is the half amp the 500 milliamp um, to put it back in just you sort of I don't know if you can see it, but it's just got the holder there. So you've got to put it into that. It's a bit difficult with the camera. Uh, so yeah, you've just got to push it in. And then once you feel it um, sliding in, then you can just push it down. And then it's just a matter of pushing the fuse all the way down again, just so it's right at the bottom. Get your cover, make sure the top um, rubber is on the base, and then just screw it in. So yeah, I won't do that, um, but yeah, it's just a matter of screwing the two screws in. But yeah, that's just a look at the Pocket Pro. Um, it's a nice little device. So if you're interested in something like this, definitely check out the Pocket Innovation um, website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.